Hi all. Over the last three months, the Wheelhouse product team has rolled out numerous improvements for our portfolio page. For all of these, we think of them as portfolio accelerants, or product work that's designed to improve the daily work of the best-in-class revenue managers. Now, Wheelhouse, of course, does dynamic pricing, but really we focus from a design perspective on designing revenue management platforms, right? Dynamic pricing systems, they're always designed to look at demand patterns and automate how a system should respond or your pricing strategy should respond. Revenue management design, though, is all about providing you a way to accelerate your work and save you time. Let's look at a few of these strategies. The first one we just call Turbo Min Max. It's the ability now to select any number of properties on your portfolio calendar and easily set not only the daily price or pricing adjustments, but also to set a min price, minimum stay, or max price. It's an idea that many of you asked for, and we brought it to you a few weeks ago. Then we have metrics galore. Here you'll see that Wheelhouse has added tons of metrics to your portfolio view to allow you to see whatever information is most helpful for you. For example, maybe it's helpful to see all your properties and how long it's been since they last booked. That's a column you can now add to your view. Or maybe you want to see the number of times an automated pricing strategy has hit the minimum price you've set. Those are some of the views now available to you in Wheelhouse. And our advanced filters take those metrics views and make it much easier for you to do revenue management. Now, for example, you could see the number of properties that have booked X number of times in the next 30 days, filter by those to quickly see where you might need to make adjustments to your calendar. As you can see, all of these are designed to help you run your revenue management strategy more effectively and more quickly. Let's dive into our platform to see this live. We're in the portfolio calendar view. Here you can see all of your listings, as well as dates stretching out into the future. Now, let's say we wanted to adjust minimum stays and minimum price across a number of listings. In this case, I'm going to grab these four properties, and then I'm, I'm going to select from today until the end of July. Apply those dates, open up the date-specific minimum rules, and now I can adjust min stay and min prices across all these properties. Click save, and you're on your way. Now, I want to add new metrics to my portfolio view so I can more easily sort and understand my performance. I'm going to select my metrics tab. Here, I'm going to add last booked, which is going to show me the last time each of these properties was booked. And then I'm going to add revenue, nightly revenue in the next 30 days. Click this setting, and now you have revenue displayed here as well. There are so many different metrics you can use. You can look at block nights over a certain time period. You can look at available nights over a time period as well. You can see the number of times a listing is booked in the next 30 days, as an example. You can even look at the, time, the number of times over the next six months that your pricing strategy has hit the minimum prices that you've defined. In short, there's tons of different ways to see the performance of your portfolio now. Advanced filtering takes us to the next level. Now with our metrics in place, we can filter. In this case, let's look at revenue in the next 30 days, one of the columns we've added, and we want to see every property that has less than $3,000 in revenue. Click here, and your properties have loaded. Now you can make fine-tuned adjustments just based on the properties you want to see on any performance metric. We think this combination of portfolio accelerants is incredibly powerful. We're hopeful it saves you minutes every single day. Cheers. Over the next few weeks, we'll share numerous other portfolio accelerants now live on Wheelhouse. Again, today we covered Turbo Min Max. This is the ability to set min stays, min prices, or max prices directly from your portfolio view. It's something you asked for, and again, we're excited to finally deliver it for you. Metrics galore. You've told us all about the number of different metrics you want. Again, it could be the highest price you achieved last year, the lowest price, the number of nights that are booked in the next 30 or 60 or 90 days, et cetera. Those are all now available to you on your portfolio view. And advanced filters help you slice and dice those metrics even more easily. So now you can look at all properties that have less than a certain amount of revenue, that haven't booked in a certain number of days, or that have too many block days coming up, so you can adjust your revenue strategy accordingly. We hope all of these accelerants and the ones we're about to share soon help you out and save you time. Cheers.